The mission in today's video is a simple one. We're gonna fly the new F-14 Tomcat because our maiden flight just wasn't enough. I'm hoping to put two packs through this today if it goes well. You guys check out that beautiful transformation of the wing before we take off and let's have some fun because we've got a lot less wind today two fully charged batteries, so let's go. All right guys, let's transform the wing for takeoff. Go to flight mode one and taxi out. I noticed on our maiden flight, we ate up a lot of runway. Look at that evening sun casting those shadows. They are some far shadows, long shadows. So we're gonna taxi it farther down and see if we can get the jet lifting off in front of us a little bit sooner. You ready, Abby? Ready. Let's go. Poor Abby's definitely picked up a cold. There's full throttle. We're going to pick up right there. That was nice. So in this 25 degree weather, I am getting a telemetry low voltage feedback on that full throttle takeoff. So short time, uh, short flight times, definitely. Um, but we're going to have some fun because there's no wind today. Like, well, there's a little wind, but not compared to the other day. And we're going to transform that wing now. It's going back. It's swept back which is really cool to see we'll bank it through down here and then turn safe off do a couple maneuvers and maybe practice a smooth landing there's i'm getting that telemetry buzz just because it's so cold today oh my goodness okay so on this pass we're safe off now and let's go for a full throttle roll <laughs> Kicking safe on, I do hear a full scale, so we're gonna be cautious and careful. Um, no radio in yet, there they are, very high up, so we're good, Abby, we're good. I actually think I enjoy the flight performance of this plane with that wing forward a little bit more, so I'm swooping those wings back forward into flight mode one, and then I'm gonna to try to get it more over the runway and do a roll closer to us in this flight mode, because I know it's been pretty far away, still getting a feel for everything on this plane. They're safe off. Haven't had a chance to trim this up. This is literally my second time flying it. We'll roll it. There you go, that's nice. And going for a nice loop with the wings forward. Pull back on that. There we go. It rolled a little bit at the top, but I didn't have a lot of speed up. And uh, <clears throat> I know this is a very short flight, but because of that full scale guy, we are going to land this just for safety's sake. I don't think he has intentions of being here. It's over our space. So we'll bring it in for a landing and put a fresh battery in. And I knew these flight times would be very short because of uh, this super cold weather, but Abby and I still, I mean, you, you just get a need for it. You know, you gotta get out and fly. And this, this I'm now safe off. I'm actually really liking how this flies with safe off um, with the wings forward. And let's touch down. I'm kind of blinded by the sun there. Guys, on the next flight, let's shoot for a smoother landing. And maybe I'll land farther down the runway so I don't get blinded by the sun there. But look at that. Even just taxiing down the runway, except for those little hops. Doesn't that look just the coolest? <laughs> it's a cool looking little F-14 Tomcat. And here we go. Scoot those wings back to get it back in storage mode. No, I'm just kidding, we'll put another battery in, let's go. While we're in between flights, I want you guys to check this out. I keep promising that I'll show it, and here it is. This is a sweet little hand warmer. It is a rechargeable electric hand warmer. I absolutely love this thing. It's on the lowest setting, and when we're out here doing these videos, I actually bought this just for Abby because she can't stand the cold, but I snuck it in my pocket today on the way out when I grabbed the car keys and it's keeping my pockets nice and warm. So I put my hands in. Meanwhile. I know, it's yours, I know. We need to pick up more, but it's like one of the coolest little things. Those hand warmer packs, I priced them the other day. At the store, they're $2 for one little pack of hand warmers, and those go bad after like two minutes, or you know, a few hours. You only get one use out of them. That thing lasts forever, and you just power it on, and within like 30 seconds, it's toasty warm especially on even the lowest setting. So anyway, we'll have that linked in the description box below. I know there's a lot of people that'll appreciate that with all this cold weather. And I think the full scale guy was just doing a fly by. So let's get the Tomcat back in the air. So my curiosity is absolutely killing me. I am going to attempt a takeoff with the wings in the back position. I know it's not scale, but I'm just curious. I just have to know. Not everything we do on our channel is scale, so let's see if this can take off 
at all with the wings in the back position. That's full throttle, slowly lifting up. That was actually really nice. Not bad at all. It took off just fine. Pretty happy with that. This thing is a funny little looking thing, taking off with the wings swept back. It's really cool. It's, it's really basically like flying two RCs in one. I mean, I've never had an RC that literally transforms in the air like this other than VTOL kind of things. So that's pretty awesome. I'm gonna put the wings forward because that's what I seem to enjoy flying in this position, but I think it looks cool with the wing back. And Abby, as I get more comfortable flying in no wind like this, it just makes me think this is something you've definitely got to try. But I do need to get everything trimmed up. So um, I, need, I need some stick time on this <clears throat> um, when it's not windy just and not filming that we can come out here and get it all nice and trimmed up. It's pretty aggressive and feels good uh, when safe is off in this mode it's not bad and it, it does enjoy it likes to fly on a 4s 2200 milliamp battery and ironically they suggest definitely using a 30c rating not a 50c or even a 100c because i guess the 50c and the 100c are longer and that 30c is the perfect fit in this jet so you don't even really have like a lot of battery options when it comes to flying this thing Here's a full throttle screaming pass down the runway. It's, it's cool, it's cool, it flies well, it really does. It flies better, wings forward, in my opinion, but it also looks pretty cool when you transform it, especially in the air, so let's go for it. There we go. <laughs> Abby, I think probably the only way we can really get that on camera really well is one of these days when it warms up more, come out here with the uh, chase vehicle <laughs> and see if you can chase it while it transforms. That would be really cool. Okay, and forgive Abby, she's not talking. She's just under the weather. It's been pretty rough. <laughs> yeah, there we well, go. I didn't know you were landing. What about the landing? I didn't know you were landing. Oh, I don't know. It just felt like an appropriate time to land. I'm trying to take it kind of easy on my batteries. These are literally well, I my... I filmed that horribly, just so you know. Wow. Well, it, it's my only two good 4S batteries currently. And... Uh, you never see. land and not say a word. I uh, know. I maybe should have. It just felt like the right time to land. Let's do this one more time. I think it's even moving colder right now just because of the cold... Uh, moving slower because of the cold weather. That looked like it was moving slower uh, than it did inside. Hey, that's awesome. So Abby says the landing filmed. She filmed it horribly. And so uh, because of that, we're gonna do my, do my best to record another landing for you guys. Because I told you I'd try to make it smoother and uh, the first one was bouncy. That was actually a good landing. It's nice and smooth, but hey, Abby is like, I thought you were doing a slow it's, it's flyby. Okay. You're like the Walking Dead right now, and she can't even she can't even breathe. It's I can't been, even tell if I'm in focus. It's just been bad for a, for a while. So let's see if we can get a nice smooth landing on camera. It's crazy how fast the sun just went away. It is crazy. It's a sleek profile, isn't it? Like it's. There we go. That was about like the last one. But that's good. That's good. Ah, that front nose wheel actually steers really well too. It's like two two tires by each other. Uh, it's not just a single wheel, so that's kind of cool. And you can hand launch. You can take off that landing gear, hand launch, and belly land this. Uh, and I think it would go a little bit faster because you'd shed some weight. But here, one more time. This is what it's all about. Ah, it's beautiful. <laughs> After three total flights. I've literally only flown this three times and you could say three and a half because I filmed a couple YouTube shorts videos, but it was very short flight time. I wouldn't even count it. So I'm going to say three flights. Uh, I, I have pretty solid feedback at this point. You know, seeing the photos and stuff online, I really thought this would be a larger jet. Okay. I, I honestly thought it would at least be a little bigger than the F-15 Eagle by E-Flight, but maybe not quite like 
Oh, and let's size it around the 70 millimeter Viper. I was just hoping it would be around that size, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but having said that, being smaller, it's kind of impressive that it comes in one piece. You pull it out of the box like this. I've got the box sitting over there. You literally take it out of the box just like this and you bind it up just like a UMX plane. So it has that going for it. Obviously, we all love the transforming wing. That's what this is all about. And I think they did a really good job at that because it's a challenge to get this thing to fly right in this position. It has a middle position too and the wing forward position without us noticing a major difference in the flying performance. So they finally nailed that. Was it I, worth the wait? Was it worth the wait? Well, I don't own anything like this and I love things that are different. So for me, because I have a whole fleet of things to fly, yeah, it's always exciting to see something new and different come to the market. I love that. Maybe if you were a person that only has two airplanes and you pre-ordered this a year ago i mean oh that would be such a drag to have to wait on that right so i can't speak for everybody but for me yes i'm glad this is in the collection and that it exists now i don't think it's very beginner friendly uh it does have safe and if you keep the wing swept forward for the most part i think a majority of the beginners that I know could fly this. Definitely not a first airplane, but if you keep it swept forward, beginners gonna handle it just fine, in safe especially. And as you're doing your straight passes, swoop that wing back uh, and enjoy how it looks. But it does take wider turns in safe, at least I feel like it does, with the wings swept back like that. Also with the wings swept back, um, orientation is pretty hard to see on this because it's small and gray and super thin. I think uh, it's just a just a nice reminder why safe is beneficial to even someone like myself. I'm glad, let's just say, if this were a plane without safe, I wouldn't even consider wanting to own it because orientation's a little bit challenging on it. So I'm just really glad it has safe set up um, because if, it, if I do lose orientation or it gets out of out of sight just a little bit uh, because of the size and how fast it is. I've got safe on a switch and I can kick it back around. So I'm, I'm grateful for that. This is a great time to mention AMA too while we're talking about safe flying and having that safety switch. It's the Academy of Model Aeronautics. And so if a person is new to flying or maybe they've been flying for a year or their lifetime uh, and they get something like this where it can be a little bit different, a little bit challenging, it's nice to have that insurance in your pocket. I mean, things, things happen. I've had I've had brand new airplanes, not from this brand, but recently on the channel I had a trainer airplane where the servo failed and it made me go up and come straight down and crash. Totally not my fault at all. Uh, and and it, I got lucky it just went up and back down. But if that happened on a curve, a bank or something, and was heading back toward vehicles or people, you just never know. It's extremely rare, but these things do happen. And that's why I'm just glad I've got insurance when I'm flying my planes. So I highly encourage you guys to pick it up. We'll have a link in the description box below. I, I think this is just uh, fun. It's drool worthy. It's fun to watch. It's fun to like have it in my hands and, and see it transforming. That's probably my coolest, uh, the coolest thing about it. It's just really fun to see that in action. And now that I see this and I'm holding it, I'd love to see them make a much larger version. I don't know how challenging that would be. Give them five years to make it happen. I don't know, it took them a little longer to make this one happen. So that'd be really cool to see. If you're looking at this and you're thinking, man, I gotta have that, but I've never flown before, let us know in the comments and we'll recommend a trainer plane for you so you can work your way up to this. I'm glad that I get to be a part of all of this hobby and a part of your all's lives and sharing our experiences with you good and bad. And for that, I thank God. I also want to say a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters because without you guys, we wouldn't be able to do what we do as often as we do it and the full transparency that we have that I know some others might not be able to do. So we're, we're just so grateful from the bottom of our hearts to everybody that supports us financially, views, likes, the works. If you want to see a windy maiden flight of this, it is a bit of a challenge compared to the fun we had in today's video, but that video will be popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye!